a pretty major development broke this weekend in regards to British politics. Nigel Farage and Richard Tice uh, announcing that the Brexit party is to become Reform UK, something that I know a lot of you guys on this channel have been calling for. You've been wanting, uh, you know, the Reform Party to step forward. Going to bring you all the very latest on this, guys. But as ever, if you could please start off by helping the channel, by clicking subscribe and the bell so you don't miss future videos. And of course, if you want to support my work here on the channel, click join. We'd really appreciate your support if you want to become a supporter of the channel and of Real News. Now, Nigel Farage setting out on Twitter, there is now a political choice on lockdown. And we wait to see whether we get a genuine Brexit. Beyond that, our whole system, he says, of government is not working and needs wholesale reform. Richard Tice, of course, who is the chairman of the Brexit party, uh, saying now that time for Reform UK, our candidates will stand in elections uh, next May across the UK. Reform is needed in so many areas, so government works for people. People furious with incompetence of Boris's government on COVID. There's a better way, hashtag great. Barrington Declaration. So the uh, major issue that is being talked about in terms of Reform UK is the government's approach uh, to the current epidemic and the, of course, the lockdown, impending lockdown that looks like it's going to be happening uh, at the end of this week. Uh, now, Nigel, Richard Tice referring to the Great Barrington Declaration there. For those that don't know, this was a, a position signed up to, and I just went on the website, uh, according to their website, 11,619 medical and public health scientists signing up to this, along with thir over 33,000 medical practitioners. And just to give you an idea of what the Great Barrington Declaration sets out and argues, if you're not familiar with it, it says those who are not, are not vulnerable should immediately be allowed to resume life as normal. Simple hygiene measures such as hand washing and staying home when sick should be practiced by everyone to reduce the herd immunity threshold. Schools and universities, they say, should be, should be open for in-person teaching. Extracurricular activities such as sports should be resumed. Young, low-risk adults should work normally rather than from home and restaurants and other businesses should open arts music sport and other cultural activities should resume so i've heard richard tice today repeatedly refer to the great barrington declaration as giving you some idea of what reform uk's approach of the approach that they want to take on the lockdown on the pandemic is and the telegraph of the story nigel farage to relaunch brexit party as reform uk a new anti-lockdown platform and of course we've seen uh, some already instantly try and mock this because that's what they always do with Nigel Farage. I've seen it many times over the years. They sort of mock the idea that a new insurgent party will actually have an impact. And then they go and beg him for interviews and for t to ask questions. It's really quite sad. And one of the things I'm going to lay out as well, you may say, well, why is this relevant, Michael? We've got a general election as years and years away. Actually, there are a lot, a lot of elections next May. I'm going to get to that in a bit. But let's carry on with this story. Farage and Tice, their new party, will back a policy of focused protection from coronavirus. The Brexit party is to be relaunched as an anti-lockdown party called Reform UK. Farage and Tice have now announced in a move which could alarm Conservative MPs. And they did a joint article in the Telegraph declaring that lockdowns don't work. And say their new party will back a policy of focused protection from coronavirus only for the most vulnerable to allow the rest of the population to develop herd immunity. The plans to change the name of the Brexit Party to Reform UK are subject to approval of the Electoral Commission. Papers were submitted to the regulator last week. Reform UK hopes to stand a slate of candidates in May's elections when the Tories are contesting thousands of shy of seats as well as policing and crime commissioner elections. On Sunday night, a spokesman for the Electoral Commission said the Brexit Party has submitted an application to change its name to Reform UK. If we are satisfied, they say, the application contains all of the information required by law. It will be published online. In the Telegraph article, Tyson Farage setting out, when we launched the Brexit Party some 21 months ago, we were far from universally thanked for it. At times, the strength of the onslaught, they say, and personal attacks was terrifying. But we stood firm and won the primary battle now. However, while we are still keep keeping a close eye on Brexit, it's time to redirect our energies. That's why we've applied to the Electoral Commission to rename the party. We want to be known as the Party of Reform. The name reflects the ambition, Reform UK. And before I go on, guys, let me know what you make of all this. Is this a party you would potentially vote for? What do you want to see from it? 
Do you agree with the position uh, on lockdown, on the current situation? What sort of policies do you want to see the party going out? Or is it a party you're going to consider voting for? They go on to say in the, in the piece, the government has dug itself into a hole and rather than admit its mistakes, it continues to excavate. Ministers have lost touch with the nation divided between the terrified and the furious. The debate over how to respond to COVID is becoming even more toxic, they say, than over Brexit. Lockdowns don't work. In fact, they cause more harm than good. But there is a credible alternative recommended by some of the finest medics in the world. It is the Great Barrington Declaration, which is what I referred to earlier. It is effectively being practiced to a large degree, they say, in Sweden with considerable success. Focus protection is the key. Targeting resources at those at most, most at risk, the elderly, vulnerable, or those with other medical conditions. Many of them would prefer to hug their grandchildren and enjoy a family Christmas. They should not be criminalised for the simple facts, simple acts that make life worth living particularly in their final years. The rest of the population, Farage and Ty, Ty say in this piece, with good hygiene measures and a dose of common sense, get on with life. This way we build immunity in the population. The young actors warriors creating a shield of protection. Multi-generational households will, of course, need to implement stricter measures. And they say reform is the only significant political party that supports the Great Barrington Declaration. We are showing the courage needed to take on consensus thinking and vested interests on COVID, but there are many areas of public life that can be improved to benefit ordinary people. That is why we will campaign for reform. And as I said, you've instantly had this knee-jerk reaction from some who I think get very rattled by the things that Nigel Farage does, the establishment. The establishment get very rattled. And just to lay out in terms of the 2021 elections, we're looking at the 6th of May, 2021. You've got everything from uh, police and crime commissioner elections to the London May, uh, Assembly election. You've got the London mayoral election. You've got Scottish Parliament election. You've got the Welsh Parliament election. And you've also got a whole host, a real bumper set of local council elections. So those scoffing, saying, well, this is irrelevant. No one can vote for years. That isn't true. There are lots of elections next May. And just to give context to what the Reform UK are setting out and the position they're setting out, obviously with this a new lockdown fast approaching now. Uh, Guido Fawkes this morning re reporting on what the Chancellor Rishi Sunak has basically had to admit. Despite unfounded rumours on Saturday night that Rishi threatened to quit over the second lockdown, Sunak now seems more than resigned to the plan. Far from the abounding energy Guido reports of a few months ago, he now seems much more accepting of mass redundancies, even with the extension of furlough. Telling today listeners, I guess it was Radio 4 this morning, sadly many more, referring to job losses, saying sadly many more, and that's going to happen as a result of the restrictions we're putting in place. This, I'm afraid, is the dire economic impact of lockdown. Reform UK, Nigel Farage, Richard Tice, setting out their stall for the relaunch, effectively, of the Brexit party as Reform UK. Let me know what you make of all of this, guys. Let me know what you make, particularly, of their position the sort of anti-lockdown position. Is that one you share or not? Is this a party you think you'll vote for or not? Fascinated to know what you make of this, guys. Let me know. And of course, if you've enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. And of course, if you want to support my work, click join, become a supporter. As ever, guys, thank you very much for watching.